me, one of the greatest things about teaching photography and videography is the fact that I can pass on my knowledge to people that are interested in the art of capturing images. And what I'm really trying to accomplish with teaching and what I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to pass on is it's capturing the beauty of the world, whether it's nature or people or something that's man-made. But to be able to look at light through leaves in the fall, or to be able to just see the beauty of light and see what nature actually provides. I think, uh, first of all, I've learned how to use camera. <laughs> you know, when I shoot videos because I've never ever done that before. I was just using my camera for photography and that was it. And then how to look entirely different on like everything what you are shooting at people, at surroundings, at the nature because it's uh, like using a different pair of eyes. I like to capture details of nature, like little beautiful details that are not uh, very visible unless you focus on them. And also I like to capture like people's abilities, their strengths, like to capture their movement. Throughout the class we've shot a good little variety of locations and I live in Squamish so it's half hour down the road so that gives other options for uh, different shooting locations but it's always a gamble every time we go shooting I'm like oh, I hope they're gonna like this spot but what's what's fun is to see how when we get somewhere you see the whole class dispersed into different places and everybody finds their little things to shoot. I like to bring the students down to Squamish because most of them live in Whistler and they don't really know the beauty and the cool little nooks and crannies that Squamish can offer. So I had a good time showing around Squamish, around Shannon Falls and Nixon Beach and show a couple of the pretty places and then go mountain biking in the afternoon in beautiful woods. Well, that's always something that I can appreciate for sure. Uh, I guess I took this course to uh, familiarize myself with the editing tools required in videography. Um, I have a bit of a still photography background as a as a uh, an amateur photographer, and uh, and I, I've used it professionally in my business as a as a realtor, uh, shooting properties uh, in in still images. Mm -hmm. you can see the stars have moved maybe a little bit long exposure. Yeah. It probably took a thirty second exposure. Video is a big part of our marketing these days. Uh, everybody has has some sort of video to help market themselves or is using video to bring attention to themselves. Uh, it brings the pictures to life and I think breathing life into photographs or breathing life into, into the scene is uh, what uh, videography is doing. I really like video. So after being a professional photographer for 10-15 years I was getting a lot of demand to start filming and I was really interested in filming because I've been used to only capture still images and by the fact that you can actually have motion with your camera it's always been something that was really interesting to me. Mm -hmm. To me one of the greatest things about teaching photography and videography is the fact that I can pass on my knowledge to people that are interested in the art of capturing images and um, doing it for a long time has given me many great opportunities to travel the world and meet great people and see a lot of beautiful things and when I see the interest from other people to want to learn what I learn and live what I live I'm always really keen to share the wealth and share the love.